Hey, what's up, folks? And welcome to another exciting edition of the T-Shirt Help Desk.com. Now, today we are going to be learning how to make ping files or PNG files in Illustrator, okay? And I am using Illustrator CS6, okay? Um, this video is going to be cut into two halves, so two parts. One is going to be the simple way, and one is going to be the uh, uh, more challenging way. All right. But first things first, we have two um, t-shirt graphics here. Uh, these are going to be on my website, t-shirtfresh.com. That is going to be launching really, really soon. Um, and all of you guys are more than welcome to come over there and sell your t-shirts. It's going to be a t-shirt store where I'm going to be all of the upstarts and even some of the people who are already established. If you want to sell your t-shirts and put your t-shirts out there, you come on over to t-shirtfresh.com. Anyway, back to the video. Okay, I have two uh, graphics here and... Um, I'm going to be showing you how to make a ping. All right. The first thing, well, a ping in Illustrator, and it's extremely easy. And this is something that you use when you're using, a, uh, let's say, a spread shirt or any of the other Zazzle or any of the other things where you can sell your own T-shirts. All right. So uh, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start with this one right here, this awesome T-shirt. Uh, which is Biggie as the uh, King of Hearts. All right. I'll take this and bring it to a new page. Right there. And you see, if you look at this file, everything is... It's all just one big thing. There's nothing that really is sticking out or standing out. And this white part here is going to be white on all t-shirts. So this is a pretty straightforward uh, pink file. Um, so I like to make mine a little bit, you know, nice and big. So that when it I do uh, import it into something like Spreadshirt or Zazzle or something like that, I can always shrink it down, you know. You can always shrink things down, but it's hard to boost things up. You understand what I'm saying? So anyway, well, in terms of resolution. So anyway, what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to go to File, Export. All right. Now, if you look right here, it says Save as Type, right? And I'm going to go down to Ping. All right, and I'm just going to save this as Biggie T. And then we're going to hit save. It's going to go right to the desktop. Now, very important here. This is where all of the magic happens. Um, the resolution right now is set for 72. 72 is too low for me. Um, so I'm going to boost it up some and I'm going to go all the way to 300. I like 300. You can make it even higher if you go to other and you can put in what number you want. But I'm just going to leave it as just standard 300. I don't have any problem with that. And background color, transparent, transparent. And that's very, very important. And I'll get into that in the second video. Okay. So, you just hit OK. Wow, wow, what happened? Nothing happened. It's saving. And it's writing. Writing. Now, right on your desktop, if you look right here, it 
I'm going to click on that bad boy. And there you go. All right. That's your ping. And I'm going to show you how you can very easily upload something like this to a um, one of the t-shirt um, selling sites like Cafe Press or Zazzle or Spreadshirt. All right. What's up, good people? I want to show you um, what I'm speaking of in action. Okay, so you go right here to uh, design your own t-shirts on Spreadshirt. This is a little Spreadshirt tutorial also. Uh, you go to custom t-shirts. Uh, and the first thing that you're going to do is you are going to choose your product so and I mean there's tons of stuff here uh, I'm just gonna go to men's and I'm going to choose just the, the first one I see which is a men's uh, uh, heavyweight tee okay now um, I'm gonna go right here to upload photo Big E T. And there you go. All right. Now you can take this and move it around. Now you have to move it around within the parameters here. Okay. Because if you go right here, you see the outline turns red. And we don't want that. You just move this around. Okay. And that's pretty much it. Hold on. Let me move this over a little bit. That is your t-shirt. Now, this, when someone goes in, when you're setting up your store, and someone wants to buy this, they can buy it in different colors. All right. And now you see exactly what I'm talking about. And that's it for the Biggie T. But anyway, that's pretty much it, guys. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to do it when you have when you want to make the background clear, okay, so that it, it will look a certain way, um, and you can always see the ground color through the graphic on any color T-shirt. All right. So anyway, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and um, go to part two. All right. T-shirt help desk and T-shirt fresh coming soon. Um, thanks for watching. Peace, guys. All right. Now you see, and I'm going to just shrink this down a little bit. All right. And you think you got something real cool, right? Yeah. Great. Awesome. You know, and then someone comes along and they want to buy the t-shirt. And they say, oh, man, you know, I want that bad boy and this, uh, this brown right here. And see, you see that black part?